Hi guys, welcome back again to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to make um, a round to dead bag. Um, there's a bit different from the other round this one. So just stay tuned with it. I hope you enjoy. Kindly watch the video till the end. If you haven't yet subscribed to my channel, please do want to hit the subscribe button, like this video, and then share it as well. So I have with me my fish line, my beef, and then a pair of scissors. I'm using the acrylic beads or the sugar beads but this one is a clear one i'm using um eight millimeters so just kind of take it we are just going to stir the tutorial straight away so i'm starting with this one six beads so I'm gonna press the last one. Can you watch the video to the end to avoid you getting lost or anything like that? Now every circle has to be 6, the first one was 6, the second one is 5, the third one is 4 because the cord is in 2 beats, okay. Now the cord is in two, this two beads, so we're going to add four to it. We need seven circles, but we have four right now. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six. Now we're going to make the last one to the seven one. So we have to go through one, two, the three beats. Supposed to be six, so we have to add only three beads to it now to complete the circle. Okay, so now our circle is complete, and we're going to put it in this particular bead so we can start a new, a different row all around. But this time around. It's going to be um, 6 and 5 though, what we are going to start. So this is what we have. So the next one is going to be 6 and 5, okay. So we have, it's already in 2 beads, so we're going to put 4 beads and tell it to make it 6. So we're going to put it in this particular bead, just only one bead. Now 
Now the next one is five, so we're going to add only three of these to it. Because it's in three beads. There's something I want you to look at it right here. So I I'm doing um six five six five six. So the next one would definitely be five. Now take notice of this place. You see this place? It goes up like so. This is a point. This is a point. This is also a point. So what we're going to what I'm trying to do is so anytime you reach the point the pointed parts that is where the five is. Anytime we reach the two distance, that's where we put the six beads. So just take notice of that. Um, anytime you see the one that is down, that is what takes the six. And the pointed one takes the five. So if you take notice of this, we have six, we have five, we have six, we have five. Just that it will be three three all around because this one you just put all it in only one bead, but the next one is going to be in two beads. So definitely the which line will be in three beads, which you add three to it to make it six. This one we want it to be five, so definitely we are going to add three to it to make it five. I hope it's self explanatory. So I'm going to do the rest of the line and then I'll show you the outcome. So we're going to put three beads on it. We're almost at the end. Now you can see there is six here, there is six here, there is five, six, five, six. So we're going to put it in one, two. This is the last two beads. One, two. Now the remaining, we put two. Since it's in three beads, and then we want five because we have six here, we have six here. We just put only two beads. So what we're going to do is we're going to start the four four all around, okay? Like the normal, you know, um, weaving procedure. So what we do is we take three beads. Two. 
so we're going to weave like that all around so we get here and then continue from there So this is the last one, it has only three beads. So you just put it in. You just put one bead. So we have this. So what we're going to do is to weave around. And we have even it in the rounded form. I'm starting with three. It's gonna go like this. You can either go left or right. Okay. Just like how we're doing it, but this time around we want it to be on top. So. So you pick two, you cross the last one. Okay, so I'm going to continue till I get to this one. We're going to leave four years, so I'm going to continue till I get to this one. And then we'll continue from there. Okay, so guys, I've been all around like so. So I'm leaving four beads that is one two three four so i'm gonna make a turn on this one i have weaved all around so i make a turn with two beads like so So we have one, two, three, four remaining. Now we're gonna go all around again. So this is going to be a repetition. You have to go all around like several times, depending on the size you also want to. So I put three. Okay, so you're going to do all wrong. I made one side, so I'm going to show it to you. So I made one side. You see how it's, it's like a cylinder thing. And then this is the side I left open. So I'm going to leave the last one and then I'm going to join it together. So I'll do that quickly and then let you know the next step. Okay, so guys, I'm attaching this to this. 
so what I'm going to do is to you know put my fish line in this bead then I put my bead on and then we press this like so okay so if you've been watching my videos this step is quite easy just put one bead in it and then we are attaching this to this so that it will be a rounded bar okay so we showed they are of equal sizes and then the numbers were equal else you're going to get it wrong so you just need to one you press it and then this is the next bead that follows So you continue to do that till the end and then I'm gonna show you the next thing. Okay, so guys, this is something we have here. We have this side, this side, and this is the inner. So we're going to be the cover of the bag to this side. In this side, you can go this way, you can go this way. So you just have to put your fish line in this bead and you pick the bead. Because you are starting a line. So we're just going to weave all around. You see we have four here, so we have to close the side. So we weave maybe around, we weave the cover maybe six or seven. Once you're weaving, like, you have to weave to cover the side so you can weave four. And then after the four, you know, rows, you can then start to make your design. If you want the bag to come, if you want the cover of the bag to come down, you can make it that way. Or maybe just you add just two lines to it or something like that. So I'm just going to continue with that process. Like we go, we weave, when we get here, we make it when we get here, we make a turn, we weave back again. We are not going to attach this whilst we are weaving. This is like the space of the bag, this is the inner. So we're not going to attach that. So yes. I'm going I'm just going to do that and then I'll come back to you later. Okay, so guys, I'm almost done with this part. This is how it looks like this, how I read it. So I read six times. I went around six times. Let me just close it for you to see. This is it, so I'm going to interlock it. So guys, finally this is it. This is the box. So and I'm super excited about this. This is the inside, so this is the cover. It could weave more to the side. That's if you want it to come on the side. And then I'm going to lock it with this. Okay. So I'm going to try one for you to see. And then you don't need a rest on your own. But then let me go ahead with the handle so with the handle i'm using this piece because i love to wear these i love the color so that's what i'm using to you know make the handle 
so I'm gonna fix it in any of that, any any of that. You can make any handle that you like, any handle handle of your choice. So I'm gonna go in with these beads. I feel like it's colorful, so it will brighten the you know the back. <laughs> So I added 15. I I put 15 of this on, and so I'm going to interlock it from here. I'm just going to split this one in two foot and then basically put it in this foot because that's why that's where we put it in the second bead here. And then go this way too. I'm going to interlock it. Okay, so just interlock it when you finish the side. So I'm gonna fix the first one here this particular piece so what I'm going to do is I go like so try to pull it for the fish line to be the same and then I don't like you have to use a plier or you can use your hand like this do the same thing for the other side okay so after this you just have to interlock it okay Try and go through some of the beads. But with that still, just even use only one, okay? Just use just one side and then just go through the beads. I'm going to show you how to do that. So I'm going through this. And you see the one beneath in your middle, this one, where we, we take the other one off, you just have to put the cord in that side. You just have to put the cord and then go through, and then go through some of the beads. So you can even use one instead of the two fish line. Just interlock it however you want it, okay? You'll just be okay with that. There's no special way to do this. Just have to make sure the thing is tight and firm. So I'm just going to go through some of the bees, mix it and um, some knots, and then that's all, okay? So I'm trying to create a knot here so that it would be firm. So yes, basically this is this. This is how you lock it really tight, and this is how you have your bag, one that beaded bag. You have to fix the other ones here. I'm going to do that. Fix it, and then you lock your bag nicely. And you have your bag here, your handle, your beautiful, colorful handle to spice the top, you know, so that it wouldn't be a boring bag. And so basically this is it. Please don't forget to hit the subscribe button, like my video, and share it as well. Thank you all for watching. See you in my next video. Bye.